A new documentary premiered this evening on EWTN, giving viewers a closer look at the life of a Capuchin priest who could one day be declared a saint. The film Deo Gratias focuses on the life of Blessed Solanus Casey. Father Solanus, who died in 1957, was credited for many miraculous healings during his life and after. He was the doorkeeper at a monastery in Detroit and also served in New York. He was declared blessed in a ceremony in Detroit in 2017. Nearly 70,000 people attended. Aaron Berghaus, president of Ahava Productions, joins us now on Skype from North Lake, Wisconsin. Aaron, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks so much for having us. Absolutely. It's a pleasure. Tell us a little bit more about Blessed Solanus Casey, who was born in Wisconsin, and also why you wanted to make this film about him. Well, Blessed Solanus Casey is an amazingly humble and beautiful priest. And um, to get to know him is to love him. And uh, with our dear friends at St. Francis de Sales Seminary, we were able to uh, be at the beatification in 2017. And I can just say personally, on a personal level, having sat with Solanus for a good length of time now on this production, um, he will change your life. He is so magnificently beautiful. He will change your life. I know the documentary is called Deo Gratias, which is thanks be to God in Latin, uh, something Father Solanus said often. Was there anything that you learned about Blessed Solanus while making this film that maybe you didn't know before? I would say that everything, um, I learned everything about Father Solanus in working on this film. He was a priest that I, had, I was not familiar with, and I happened to be living in Detroit at the time, um, and St. Francis de Sales Seminary, um, really in collaboration with Ahava, uh, put together the film. Father Solanus is a priest who is so incredibly humble, and he teaches us to pray in a way uh, which is complete confidence. And I think that um, I think that once you learn how to pray the way that he prayed, it does change your life. And we learn that no matter where we are, who we are, whatever it is that God has planned for us, that anything is possible. And yes, we do have to thank God ahead of time. So Deo gracias, yes. Um, I know that you rediscovered your faith after seeing St. Paul II back in 1999. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, I, I went to uh, St. Louis um, wanting, and uh, I did change, he, he really did. I, I always say that it was St. John Paul II was the man that God used to call my heart to the church. Um, and so at that time, then it was a letter to artists that he had written that I read. And at the same time, I did a consecration by St. Louis de Montfort. And ever since then, everything everything that I work on really is for God. It's for the glory of God. Um, and it is the mother of God who is continually uh, lifting and guiding. Um, yeah, <laughs> anything's possible. <laughs> Absolutely. It's so wonderful. Um, are there any other projects that your production company is working on right now? Well, thanks for asking. You know, there there is a film that we're working on that we hope to get out uh, soon. It's uh, Santiago, The Camino Within. It's the journey of St. James. Um, and uh, it's another, another film that really changes my life. Um, it's such a tremendous blessing to learn about these holy, holy individuals, uh, the saints that God gives us to teach us how to pray and who just really wait for us to ask for their intercession. Um, and then also there's a series that AHA has, it's called Echo. And the Echo series is by Bishop Donald Hine. And that uh, goes through the catechism, um, all 36 chapters of the adult catechism. But um, yeah, right now in the hopper is Santiago, the Camino Within. Thank you, Aaron. Aaron Berghaus, president of Ahava Productions. Deo Gratias, the life of Father Solanus Casey, will re-air tomorrow at 2.30 a.m. and 11 p.m. Eastern.